Uh, Tony Venegas back here with uh, Bell Miami Athletics after uh, the Crusaders moving on to the next round after a 15 to 4 win over Mount Olive Trojans. Uh, with Garrett Browder again, uh, three for five tonight, eight runs batted in, including a, a grand slam. And Garrett just kind of first off uh, at the plate, just kind of picked up from where you left off last night. Just what was it uh, that, that you were seeing out there? I just want to start off thanking Jesus and my Lord and Savior for giving me the opportunity to, to be here. I want to thank my coaches for believing in me and my teammates. I just have such a great support group around me. Um, they've taken, they invested a lot of time and trust in me. And it's something that allowed me to have the freedom and confidence to come out and play my game and do the best of my ability for them. Um, and I was just trying to get something I could drive. We get the guys going early and Collette did a great job on the mound, throwing up a zero early for us, and we were just able to build up that many runs. And, and, and just, it, it was a game that coming into tonight, obviously, always a lot of history between Belmont Abbey and Mount Olive, but definitely just seemed that there was like more energy around it, especially after with what happened with Owl on the, uh, on the very first uh, at bat with that kind of crazy play. But do you think that play maybe provided a little bit of a spark? Because it really seemed that that kind of picked you guys up moving forward. Yeah, maybe that was a tough play. Um, we wish the call maybe were going different, but it is what it is. And we had to take that adversity and build off of it and go from there. Um, we were really ready to play. Mount Olive is a great team, very talented and well coached. I, I actually have a lot of friends that I play with over the years over there and have a good relationship with a lot of those guys. So, we knew they were going to be ready to play, and we decided to come in and play our game. And, and just, uh, I'll kind of go through with that grand slam there in the in the third inning. Just, I, I guess, did you have a feeling that that was gone uh, as soon as it came off your bat there? Yes, sir. I, I feel like I got it good, but I was really hoping that it was going to get out. Just with two outs, I knew if it stayed in the yard, and we weren't going to capitalize on any runs there. So I was really thankful that I got helped me out and that out of here. And it just kind of on that note, uh, a lot of the hits that you guys had tonight, two outs, and just, uh, well, I guess, what was kind of your approach not with just you, but with everybody, you know, being able to hit so well with, with two outs? Oh, yeah. Coach, Coach McClendon always stays on us about it. It's always, this at bat's always the most important at bat. Um, and we just try to, to really focus, have a small focus for each at bat, where that's with no outs or with two outs and, and not giving up regardless of the outcome of all the score. And just going to each at bat, doing the best of our ability and making sure we're on time, probably having a good plan. And prep going into that, and our guys did a good job of doing that. And and then uh, and then you mentioned with Colette, Dale, you know, six innings tonight, oh, yeah. David. Pitched a great game, and just what what did you see? What did you see from him working with him tonight? Oh yeah, he's he's a senior, he's a leader on our team, and he he's done that for us all year. And to have him come out tonight, um, at this big of a stage, a late night game, and and really compete for us that way was was just awesome, and it it allowed us to, to have to get in the back. And then kind of just one last note with uh, with Landon Hahn getting the start at shortstop coming oh, up yeah. with a couple of big hits and then the, the game-ending double play. Just uh, for a freshman to step in like that, especially for a guy like Jack Boyles, what does it say just about him and his ability to step Oh, up? yeah. I mean, like you just said, Jack Boyles is, is something that's – he's he's irreplaceable. I mean, having Jack Boyles in the field, he's first team. I mean, gold glove shortstop, the whole nine yards. He's a captain on our team. And having him go down is a, is a dagger. But having a guy like like Han, a freshman, that works as hard as he does each and every day, he listens to Jack Bulls, he learns from him, and he also has a lot of grit and competitive drive himself. And to have him come in, he was confident, he was ready to play. There was no doubt about it. We knew he was going to be ready to play, and he capitalized and did exactly what he needed to do. And I'm I'm so proud of him. And he's he's such a hardworking kid, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. Yeah, and now now you guys get to get some rest. You know, late night tonight, but yes. get some rest. Uh, getting ready for for Pembroke tomorrow. Uh, what, what would you say is the biggest key to that one to try to get to the uh, conference championship game? Just coming back, playing together, playing for one another and having a small focus, controlling what we can control. They're going to be another really good team like everybody else in this conference is. And we just have to control what we can control and, and, and take it one inning at a time. All right. That sounds good. That's uh, Garrett Browder with, uh, after Belmont Abbey defeats Mount Isle 15 to four tonight. Uh, Crusaders will play UNC Pembroke tomorrow afternoon, semifinals of the Conference Carolinas tournament.